Good day and welcome to our Wednesday worship for Church of the Resurrection in Hamilton, Ontario. It is Wednesday, August 12th, 2020. And over the next 30 minutes or so, we'll be leading you through a service uh, through PowerPoint with some songs from Teze, as well as a special song for reflection uh, following our gospel. My name is Reverend Stephen Blackmore, and I am the priest at Resurrection, going on five weeks now, I think, and uh, really enjoying uh, getting to know this space, and of course, mostly the people of this parish uh, as well. Online worship can be a bit of a challenge, so I would like to uh, make a few suggestions for how you might want to approach this time together. Firstly, I think it's important to remember that though we may be physically distant uh, from each other, uh, we're not alone. Uh, our faith teaches us and the scriptures teach us that uh, through God's Spirit we are joined together and made into the body of Christ, the church. And there's a way in which when we pray and say, say some of the same prayers, sing some of the same songs, even if they're at different points in the day, uh, even if we're at different places, there's a way in which we are uh, all joining together where our prayers blend together. And, uh, and I think that's uh, a beautiful thing. So please do remember that you're not praying alone today. Do feel free to join into any of the prayers or songs as you wish. In the liturgy, the printed word portion of the service, there will be parts designated for all. They're usually in bold font. Uh, I will read them, and when I read those parts, I invite you to read them along with me uh, at home, out loud if you are able, as there is something about hearing the words spoken um, out loud uh, that can be quite meaningful. And lastly, you might wish to have a candle uh, somewhere near where you are. Lighting a candle is a way of designating this time and space uh, for prayer and, uh, and to God, and uh, that might be a helpful thing for you. So please do consider taking advantage of that. It's common practice in many spiritual traditions that when you begin a time of reflection, meditation, prayer, even yoga, uh, you might set an intention for your time. Uh, you might take a few moments to pause right now to take a few deep breaths to get a sense of how you are feeling and what it is you might desire from God today in this time of prayer. So let's just take a moment or two uh, to breathe and to take note of what desire is arising to the surface of your heart that you wish to express to God and that you need from God in this time today? We pray for a renewal of God's life-giving presence to fill us today. God of resurrection, of life and death, rebirth, renew our hearts and minds. God of promise, of all beginnings and all endings, renew our hearts and minds. God of hope, of new growth and harvest. Renew our hearts and minds. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Me into life. 
bless the Lord my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord my soul, who leads me into Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into Our psalm appointed for today is a section from Psalm 18. We'll read it responsively by whole verse. I will read the even-numbered verses. Please join me, or the odd-numbered voices. Please join me in reading the even-numbered verses together. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven, my God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from mine enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress, and cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They reeled because of his anger. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He restored me because he delighted in me. Let us pray together. Praise to you, God of our salvation. You come to our help and set us free. May your strength be our shield and your word be our lamp, that we may serve you with pure hearts and find victory through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We take a few moments to pause again before we hear our gospel story. We'll sing a song of prayer just before we hear it. You might wish to use that time to invite the Holy Spirit to speak to you afresh through God's word. And I would also encourage you to take note of any words or phrases or ideas that seem to stick with you. And we'll have a period of reflection following the reading that you may uh, wish to return to some of those images and words.
them fighting. Those who seek God will never go wanting. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. God alone kills us. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. Those who seek God shall never go wanting. Nothing can trouble, nothing can frighten. God Gospel reading taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 8. And when Jesus got into the boat, his disciples followed him. A windstorm arose on the sea, so great that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke him up, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid? you of little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a dead calm. They were amazed, saying, What sort of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us take a few moments with this passage. We may wish to read it over again in the quiet of our hearts and minds. We may wish for a period of silence. And so we wait. If you wish for a longer period of quiet, of silence, you can pause the video at this point if you're watching later. If you're watching live, you may wish to mute me. I'm just going to reflect on this passage for a few moments, just what I feel God might be speaking to me today. I've often been stuck on this passage. I remember once on a spiritual retreat after in the middle of a, really a stormy season in my life, and my spiritual director encouraged me to read this story and I admit I got stuck on the disciples cry you know Lord save us we are perishing I just felt like God was asleep in the bottom of the boat seemingly oblivious or apathetic to what I was going through to the storm all around me and I think it's normal for us to have that reaction when things get hard. Certainly this 2020 is a, a storm uh, for our world and for all of us. And we might be asking or wondering, where are you, God, in all of this? Of course, the power in this story is that Jesus is with us all along. And he reminds the disciples that we need not be afraid. And maybe he doesn't always appear in the way that we wish or we desire. But as the Chronicles of Narnia's depiction of Aslan the lion reminds us, uh, our Lord is not a tame lion. And he is both safe and dangerous, it would seem. Dangerous in changing our mindsets, our ideas about how we think about things and safe in that we know that God cares for us and does love us amidst the storm and has the power to calm the wind and the sea. And so today, perhaps in our own hearts and minds that we may be swirling about with many storms, um, concerns that we have, can we express them to God today? Can God open our eyes to see that in Jesus, he is here with us 
always. So I sing this next song as a song of reflection. Perhaps some of these points for reflection you might wish to stay with. You might wish to listen to the song. You might wish for more silence. So again, you can mute me if you wish. But I like to sing this song that gives me hope and praising the one who does calm the wind and the waves and who indeed brings life to our souls.
Great is the Lord who calms the wind and the waves, who fills our lungs with God's breath, the Ruach, the spirit and life force of God, in confidence that God is indeed with us. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear and have mercy. Remembering Church of the Resurrection, Lord, as we long to be gathered together again in September, there is much work to be done, much care and concern. Lord, for your people, for your family here in this parish, in this city. Lord, for all who confess the name of Christ, fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear and have mercy. We pray for one another. May we always be united in service and love. Lord, hear and have mercy. We remember the challenging state our world is in. We remember those countries and peoples most affected by the pandemic, those who are in the midst of war and conflict, and remembering our part, our role in the abuse of creation, in the ways that we have struggled to love you, God, and to love our neighbor. And so we pray to be forgiven our sins and set free from all hardship, distress, want, war, and injustice. Lord, hear and have mercy. Compassionate God, you know the pain of your people. We pray that your healing waters will flow over all the earth. We hold before you those who are suffering because of COVID-19 those without homes or jobs, those with disease of body, mind, or spirit, those who hold onto vengeful, hurtful feelings. Let me take a few moments to remember those on our hearts who are in special need of God's prayer and God's healing power. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Lord, hear and have mercy. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy, and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit, that through their work many will be restored to health. Lord, hear and have mercy. In the coming week, strengthen us to reach out to those in need. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we discover new and just ways of sharing the goods of the earth, struggling against exploitation, greed, or lack of concern. Remembering especially all the groups in our society who have been marginalized, people of color, the LGBTQ community, the poor. 
or those with disabilities or mental or physical health challenges. Lord, may we all live by the abundance of your mercies and find joy together. Lord, hear and have mercy. May we be strengthened by our communion with all Christ's saints. Lord, hear and have mercy. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Prayer of St. Benedict for us today. Gracious and Holy Father, give us the wisdom to discover you, the intelligence to understand you, the diligence to seek after you, the patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you through the power of the Spirit of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Afraid, lift up your voices, the Lord is near. Lift up your voices, the Lord is near. May your roots go down deep into the soil of God's marvelous love. And may you be able to feel and understand, as all God's children should, how long, how wide, how deep, and how high God's love really is, and to experience this love for yourselves. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you, now and always. Amen. If you've been joining us through our YouTube channel, I hope that you found this service helpful and meaningful. Please do click subscribe on our YouTube channel so you can get updates whenever we post 
uh, these type of videos. If you'd like to be live in our Zoom meeting, you can email us at oneresurrection at rogers.com and uh, to talk with us about how you might do that. Uh, or you may wish to contact us uh, just if you have any questions of faith or would desire prayer. Uh, so please do, you can uh, look on our Facebook page or contact us at our email address as well. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today and for all of you both uh, live and uh, later on video who are join who are helping us join all our prayers together. God bless.